Who here likes pizza? Who doesn't like pizza? When I was five years old, to my parents' surprise, I didn't like pizza. That wasn't the only thing that was unusual about me. I ended up fitting in the same summer dress for three years in a row, when I was three, four, and five years old. And that also puzzled my parents. It turns out, although I seemed healthy on the outside, I wasn't on the inside. In the summer of 2009, I was diagnosed with celiac disease at the age of five years old. Since then, I've been eating gluten-free. Eating gluten-free is hard, especially when it's not by choice, but most people don't even know what gluten is and how it can affect certain people's health and even their personal lives. Since then, I've come to know others whose stories involve gluten. Many people, including my friends and family, have experienced countless health benefits on a gluten-free diet, and I'd like to share some of their stories today. And who knows, maybe this talk will inspire you to start a gluten-free journey that hopefully leads to similar health improvements. Let me start with a big question. What is gluten? Gluten is a protein. It's everywhere, and you probably eat it every day. Gluten is found in most foods containing wheat, rye, barley, or malt. So gluten is found in many flour-based products. Some examples of foods with gluten are cakes, cookies, pizza, pasta, things like that. But sometimes, gluten is in some foods that you wouldn't expect, like soy sauce, yogurt, and ice cream. But today, eating gluten-free isn't as hard as you may think, and a lot of these foods are now made gluten-free. I eat gluten-free because of my celiac disease, but the author of the book, The Gluten Syndrome, Dr. Ford, says he believes up to 30% of the world could be gluten-sensitive. One example of a person that was affected by gluten but who didn't have celiac disease is my best friend, Kendall. When she was four years old, she had tons of stomach aches and had them for the rest of her life until she went off gluten two years ago. Just like with my friend Kendall's example, I came across many positives of a gluten-free diet in my research. According to a study featured in JAMA Internal Medicine, 2.7 million Americans are on a gluten-free diet. That's more than the population of the city of Sofia. But out of those 2.7 million people, only 1.7 actually had celiac disease. So why are so many people going gluten-free if they don't have celiac disease? Gluten sensitivity, also known as gluten intolerance, is quite common but can have serious consequences. When you have gluten sensitivity, you usually have some sort of a negative reaction to eating gluten and some sort of a positive reaction to those symptoms on a gluten-free diet. You may be wondering what the difference is between having gluten sensitivity and celiac disease and even what celiac disease is. According to the Celiac Disease Foundation, celiac disease involves an autoimmune reaction that damages and affects the lining of the small intestines. For those with celiac, gluten acts like a monster and tramples on the villi. When this monster tramples on the villi, the lining of the intestines, it prevents the body from absorbing the nutrients that it needs. For those with celiac, they have a different reaction than those with gluten sensitivity. Do you want these gluten people running in your stomach? This is just one of my many reasons to try a gluten-free diet. Reducing internal inflammation is also a big reason. A good family friend, who is also a nutrition and wellness consultant, Shana Tvenshup, says, I avoid gluten because it causes inflammation in my back where I have arthritis from a fractured vertebrae. I also feel like my digestive system works better without processed foods in general. On a gluten-free diet, you most likely will eat healthier. Cakes, cookies, sweets, and other unhealthy foods will be cut from your diet. Now, they do make those foods gluten-free, but they are made with less processed ingredients, artificial colors, and dyes. Personally, whenever I go out to eat, I usually will order a salad because that's the safest thing for me to eat. Oftentimes, foods in restaurants have been cross-contaminated or cooked on the same equipment with foods that have gluten in them. On a gluten-free diet, you also will most likely eat a lot more fruits and vegetables, which will boost your immune system. 
Another reason to try a gluten-free diet is that many brain disorders are associated with gluten, and patients with them have seen dramatic improvements on a gluten-free diet. Epilepsy, autism, and Alzheimer's are just a few examples. Research has shown that many Alzheimer's patients may have had previously undiagnosed gluten sensitivity. Another research showed that a gluten-free diet could help people with their depression symptoms. Oftentimes, people get in a long-lasting cycle of eating unhealthy foods that lead to weight gain and then to depression. Furthermore, your heart, one of the most important parts of your body, could lower its chance of developing diseases just by avoiding gluten. Research has shown that a gluten-free diet could improve your cardiovascular function. Lastly, autoimmune diseases. One research showed that study participants who adopted a gluten-free diet reported fewer incidents of autoimmune diseases. My aunt Hillary has a thyroid autoimmune disease that causes fatigue and lethargy. She says that after going gluten-free, she pretty quickly felt that she had much more energy and it was easier for her to lose weight. Of course, celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder that can only be treated by going gluten-free, which is why I, as well as many other people, including my cousin Hannah, went gluten-free. After Hannah went gluten-free, after being diagnosed with celiac disease, many problems she was having, including belly aches, brittle hair and nails, and dark circles under her eyes, went away. Many people resist going gluten-free because they think that they'll have to eliminate many yummy foods from their diet. But today, there are so many gluten-free alternatives to popular foods. Now, it may take a bit of persistence at first to find the tasty gluten-free foods, but in the end, it's worth it. One bakery had bread that almost made me throw up. I think I have to uh, determine the definition of bread with that bakery. It was basically dried nuts and fruits and vegetables all squished together, and they called it bread. While another dis bakery that I discovered while traveling had the most delicious gluten-free meals I've ever tasted. Knowing what a difference it makes to have quality gluten-free foods has inspired me to open up my own gluten-free bakery one day, and these are some gluten-free cakes that I've started practicing. These days, it seems that gluten-free is being promoted everywhere, but it's not just a fad. Gluten-free can be good for you, and as I've discussed, there are countless health benefits. Many people don't realize that many health problems they are ha experiencing may be caused by gluten. Maybe you are a person that has noticed that you've shared some of the same symptoms as people in my stories. Maybe you are a person that could benefit from a gluten-free diet. And who knows, maybe one day you'll come and visit me in my gluten-free bakery. My last question for you today, do you have the guts for gluten? Thank you.